Welcome back. We're about to hit the road and we're doing it in style. Right, Kara? It's the only way to do it. And this is gonna be the new ride. Just kidding, we can't afford this. <laughs> this is our friend's new Berkshire 45A diesel pusher tag axle. I mean, holy crap, this thing's amazing. And I have never sat in a driver's seat like this. I think we could get used to going down the road like this. Don't you think, Kara? Oh man, this thing is like a recliner. Uh, it's, a, it's a bit longer than what you're used to. So there are those learning curves literal curves and curbs that you have to watch out for but um i think once you got a couple miles in you i think you'd get it a few weeks ago we were out filming a trailer and my buddy popped his head in he was out looking for a motorhome buy it just buy it right now take it home <laughs> we're gonna go look at that berkshire up front put your name on it okay, okay. all right see you guys, see you guys. <laughs> And he called a few days ago and said, Kate, come check out our new motorhome. So we are here to check out his new Berkshire. Well, used, but new, new to him. This thing is sweet. So this is Johnny, well, Johnny and Sarah's new motorhome. It's a 2019, so not new, new, it's used, but they, they were looking at new ones and these had like 35%, 40% off the cost. So it's basically brand new, has 35,000 miles on. And he said, hey, you need to come check this out. And I said, I will be down. How can I turn down coming down to St. George? So let's walk around and see what it has to offer. Now, motorhomes, buses like this are out of my wheelhouse. I, I don't know a lot about them. So I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty of it too much because I can't afford it either. So <laughs> um, I'm gonna go get a lottery ticket after this. And so maybe then I can afford one of these. Huge. It has four slide outs on this driver's side. You have the big massive kitchen slide out right here. And over here, you have your whole bedroom slide area. Now with all these buses, you do have all of your storage down here. They're all locked up. I'm not gonna go through and unlock them, but it's full pass through storage. So it's amazing with having that flush floor, how much storage you can get underneath these. I love this blue paint. I know a lot of people are kind of going away from the swirls, but it really does help kind of hide things. So, you know, dirt and scratches and that sort of stuff, it, it really helps with that. But this blue, black, white combination, it's pretty. Usually when we're going through fifth wheels and travel trailers, all that, I go into the tires a whole bunch. I have no idea about semi-truck tires. They're Continentals, <laughs> I don't know. They're big, uh, it does have the duals. It is a pusher, so it has the giant Cummins back here with 450. Um, massive. He just had it running. It sounds so dang good. Uh, there is just something about those big Cummins engines. This does have a Freightliner chassis with the Cummins engine, and it does have your hitch down here. That way you can hook up your, your car, your trailer, or whatever you're towing, because this can actually do it. There's a lot of those motorhomes out there that they put such a small engine in that you have to get out and walk alongside going up the hill or help push it. Hey, God, jump! in a cruise and from what johnny says it does with any motorhome you're going to get a generator this has the 10,000 onan and it is large enough that it can run this whole beast while you go down the road everything air conditioners all that because there is no way you could stand to drive this thing down the road in the summer with just the air conditioner up in the front. You can run all your AC units, everything as you go down the road, that way the whole family can be comfortable. Because why would you spend money like this and buy this amazing vehicle and then not be able to enjoy driving down the road with it? Coming down the passenger side, of course you have your entrance right here. You do have two more slides, huge living room slide here, and you're going to have your table and your couch, and it has another TV right here. So he's back here. And then you have your bedroom slide with your king size bed right up in here. But Kara's gonna show you that inside. 
All right, so Kara's gonna show us the inside. Let's head on up in. So you gotta take your shoes off first. No. Oh. Does make sense in this nice of a unit. <laughs> Super nice in here. Not gonna lie. Little, more than a little jealous. I'm like envious <laughs> of how nice and gorgeous this coach is. Uh, it, it, it's, I'm obviously stuttering because it's hard to find words. How nice this is, how luxurious, how, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> all the bells and whistles, I'll tell you that. Normally I don't get to push all these buttons, but Johnny said push away. So I'm gonna try the nightshade. Oh. Now that's pretty dang cool. Uh, Let's start it. Oh. Air brakes. <laughs> kind of cool. Sure, what that step at? Oh, buddy. You can hear the Cummins back there. Did you break it? I might have. <laughs> no, I didn't break it. I'm kind of surprised at how quiet it is. It's a huge engine, but I guess it's 45 feet back there. So, um, I don't know how quiet it'd be going down the road. Johnny said it wasn't that bad, but you get it loaded up with dishes and everything. I'm, I'm sure it's gonna rattle. I, I, everybody has said that they rattle, but that's just part of it. It is what it is. Um, you just turn up the radio more. Right here, you have all your kind of infotainment stuff. Uh, you have your cameras, which let's see. Yeah, so right here you have your rear, then your right, and your left. Now, you can't see much because the slides are out right now, but driving down the road, this would be so handy trying to, trying not to run people off the road, really. Then, right down here, let's see if this step cover works without it being turned all the way on. Oh, baby. Oh, that's nice. That is so dang cool. I know once you get parked and everything and the door shut, I'd fall down those stairs. So that is such a safety device right there to be able to shut that. That is pretty dang cool. Well, typically a coach this size, this beautiful, elegant coach is a retiree coach, <laughs> meaning they've left everything behind and they're hitting the road. In this case, this is for a family of six. So they need the room to still be able to maneuver as well as sleep. So we'll show you uh, the family functions of this coach as well. This, this coach still has its traditional booth seating, which is nice that you're not in chairs that you have to pull one out from the closet to accommodate everyone. Also with this bench seating, you're getting your bed as well. So table drops down, giving you a nice place for sleeping. Coming down this side here, you've got your couch, really nice as well. It has a blow up mattress in it. Some units cannot work with a blow up mattress. You've got to have power, but where you've got an onboard generator, you can blow this thing up anytime you want. Believe me, having an air mattress for a bed is far better than a hide-a-bed mattress. <laughs> I always get stuck with a bar like right in my hip. So none of that with this coach. Let's go through the kitchen. First off, great big residential fridge, ice maker, jealous of that, drawbacks, with that as well, but super nice. Cabinetry along here is this beautiful dark chocolate wood, wood <laughs> cabinetry in here. They are on a locking mechanism, so they're not gonna fly and open. Super nice storage in this nice spice rack, whatever you need right there, right next to your stovetop. 
club, you've got a microwave with your convection oven as well. Down below, you've got your induction cooktop. Nice flush mount. And down below, you've got dishwasher. That would be nice sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Yeah. Especially a uh, family of six. Can you imagine breakfast, lunch, dinner? How much you would go through. You'd constantly be doing dishes, so that would be super nice to have. Coming down a little farther, you've got your double basin sink, which is, double basin's actually quite nice. You don't have one giant sink basin that you're having to fill up, so double is nice. And handling these <laughs> covers, they've got a little heft to them, so this is super nice. Finishing out our kitchen, you're coming into your kind of your entertainment area. TV here with hidden storage behind it. So that's kind of nice to tuck away DVDs, whatever you need back there. Blankets, it's big enough for blankets. Down below is your fireplace. A nice little cubby there for all your sound, electronics. Stash that away there. This TV is one of five. <laughs> uh, cool thing is they can all function separately or you can turn on a movie and it can be in every tv the flooring in here is beautiful it is real tiling it is also heated heated floors can't believe it continuing down the hallway i initially thought this was a gigantic wardrobe i was very misinformed <laughs> this is bunk beds for the kiddos. This is so nice. I would have killed for this when I was a kid, traveling with my brother and sister, sharing beds, fighting for the, the couch or fighting for the table just to have your own space. This is so nice. And they also have their own little entertainment center back there too. Across from the bunk bed is one of two full bathrooms. Shower in this first bathroom is the round. We like the round because you're using a corner space and not impeding into the rest of the restroom. Surround back here, it, it's pretty solid. We can't decide if it's tile or faux, but it's solid. Really pretty though. It is. We failed to mention the color scheme in this coach. It's beautiful. It's dark. It's moody, but it's not goth. <laughs> it's a beautiful dark. <laughs> you do have lots of cabinetry in here. Nice corner cabinetry there as well as right here. This is so nice. Plenty, plenty of room for all the kids in here. This particular toilet is the traditional flush one that we're used to. It is a porcelain as well, so really nice, strong toilet. Coming into the master bedroom. The bed is on its own slide, so it opens up this room nice and wide to get access to your restroom and that's in the back. This bed is an RV king, but you've got lots of room on the sides that you can just slide right in. Yeah, because a lot of times there's like three inches and there's plenty of room. You can get back there. Plenty of room to make your bed, get back here. Nice little nightstand right here. I'll show you the cool thing. <clears throat> right up here you have all of your lights for this area as well as a generator switch. So if you're laying in bed, feeling a little sweaty, pop that on, AC churning. So nice. And right in front of you, laying in bed, is your TV. Cabinetry all the way. <laughs> lots and lots of storage in this coach, as you can see. Also in this master area, you have this really nice ceiling fan to help move all the air. That would be so nice. When you're in bed at night, turn that on. That would make such a difference. That would make, yeah, a huge difference in here. The master is like in between areas. So 
I mean, there's lots of vents above, but the stand would help so much. All right, to finish this out, the master bathroom. This particular room is so lit up. <laughs> Having this much lighting is so nice. We as ladies appreciate it, doing our hair and makeup. <laughs> or if you're just trying to get that one random nose hair. Nice to be able to see it. <laughs> Once again, you do have the nice corner round shower in here, not impeding into the rest of the room. Really nice to have washer dryer in your bathroom. Saves you from having to go to the laundromat. Other features in this restroom is his and her sinks. That's nice. So when my sink's all nice and clean, Jesse's is gross with toothpastes everywhere. Nice. And to finish this off, uh, this toilet. This is not your average toilet. This is a maciator toilet. So you do your, you fill the bowl, you do your business, you dump it and it grinds. Yeah. Final thoughts on this coach. <laughs> I, there's just so many things. I know we missed a bunch of stuff, but this is an amazing coach. And if you're into the motorhome lifestyle, the diesel pusher, which we all want to be. <laughs> Let's just be honest. Uh, it's it's pretty dang nice. So I think he got a still of a deal. Um, he didn't tell me the exact price because I didn't ask. But he said he saved, you know, 35, 45% off of a new one. And heck, it's only a few years old and it still looks like brand new. He went all the way down to Arizona to get it, which I think that's a smart move because there's a lot of older people that have moved down to Arizona in them, those sort of things. And Maybe they've decided they wanted to move back into a sticks and bricks or whatever, and they take care of their stuff. So this thing hasn't been abused at all. It's amazing. And thanks to Johnny and Sarah for letting us come and check out their, their motorhome. If you'd like, they're going to be showing a lot of their travels on their Yowie Vlogs channel. Uh, we'll put a look, link down below, and you can see what they do with this thing because they have some big plans. They are looking to travel quite a bit. So, And why else buy it if you aren't going to do it? So, <clears throat> I keep saying so, so, so. I am sure I've missed some stuff. There, there's so many bells and whistles. <laughs> so, uh, if you, comment below, what do you think of this? Is this your style or are you looking to get, you know, a fifth wheel or a travel trailer or an off-road unit like many of our latest reviews have been more the off-road style? What are you looking for in your RV? Thanks to Johnny and Sarah for letting us come and tour their amazing new motorhome and get a little envious. I, every time we visit with them, we're envious. But yeah, uh, thanks to them for letting us come and check it out. And as always, enjoy your weekend.